everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how I use gel polish over my old dip powder manicure to kind of refresh it and give myself a new look when I don't feel like soaking off and going through all that hassle. So here is what my nails look like after I've had dip powder on for about a week. All I did was file off the top coat and just a little bit around the cuticles here to give it a little bit more of a smooth appearance. I have this really cool little glass file. <clears throat> it has the sharp pointed tip, which isn't that sharp, and then the cuticle pointer pusher edge. So I just kind of go around the inside, it helps to push back my cuticles a little, get, a little bit, get rid of some of that dry skin, and just smooth everything out. That way I don't have to go through the whole work of soaking off and re-smoothing and filing and all that of my natural nails. So we're going to go ahead and just put some gel polish over. I'm going with this really pretty nude color, so it's called sensational i just got this at walmart for a few bucks it's a really pretty nude color so if you have a job interview and you've got wild dip powder colors on your nails or you're just ready to refresh it then follow these steps so we're gonna go ahead and use the model ones base the virgo and gem top the sensational gel color and then my million year old sally hansen light i got at walmart like ten thousand years ago <laughs> So it's a super simple process. We're gonna get right into it and we're gonna start with the base. Whenever you're using gel polish, you wanna put a base down first. This is gonna give the gel polish something to stick to. If you don't put a base down, you're taking the risk that your gel polish might flake off the top of your nail. So this is just gonna give it a nice sticky base to stick down to. And I apologize, I was out of the frame on a lot of the times that I'm painting in this video. Um, it's just going to be painted on just like you would any normal polish. I just had my camera at a different angle experimenting and uh, this was not a great <laughs> angle so I kept going off film. But I'm just going to allow the base to go down into those little cracks and crevices to fill in around my cuticle uh, so everything is nice and seamless. And we're gonna go ahead and cure that. I just did a 30 second cure for the base. And then we're gonna get right into the gel polish. Here's the base. Gives it a nice sticky coat for some polish to stick down to. So we're going to go right into the gel polish and I went ahead and did two coats because I have that sparkly glitter nail. One coat was a little bit sheer and you could see the glitter kind of poking through. So I'm just taking a little cuticle stick and going around the lines after I paint down to make sure I don't have any on my skin. Before you cure it, it's a lot like dip powder where you can clean up your messes before it's cured. So I'm going to go ahead and paint one full coat on all my nails here and then we will give it a cure. So I'm just cleaning up as I go nail by nail, taking my time, making sure I'm getting a good amount of coverage of that color on each one of my nails. And then any little mix-ups that I had around my skin, I'm cleaning it up. So this is what it looks like before I cure. And on the gel color, I went ahead and cured for a full uh, 60 seconds. So at, you'll see me painting my thumbnail here while that's curing. This was one of the nails that you could actually see me paint in frame, so I went ahead and left it in for you. But I'm just taking that polish down in little strokes, making sure I'm not flooding my cuticle too much. I'm taking it slow, getting a good amount of coverage, and then when that light turns off, I go ahead and cure it again. 
and as soon as this is done curing, I'm going to go ahead and cure that thumbnail and we'll be ready for top coat. So here we go. Here is my first coat. You can see it already looks really pretty. Just a little bit on that ring finger still poking through because it was a little bit of a darker, shinier color. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with a second coat just like I did with my first and cure that. And here we go. Nail magic. Second coat complete. I just love how it refreshes the mani. You can't even see the glitter poking through. If you didn't know I painted this over an old dip manicure, you wouldn't, you just wouldn't know. It looks so cute. So we're going to go ahead and go in with top coat. I'm using this Virgo and Jim gel top coat and we're doing the same process. I'm just going to paint one coat on top of all of my nails, making sure to take my time. I don't want it to be too thick or gloppy. I just want to put a nice even coat on all of my nails here. And finishing that pinky up here. I really like this Virgo and Gem top coat. It is very shiny. Wait till you see the end result. And it is just a really good sturdy top coat. It doesn't flake off on me. I went ahead and changed the angle here. And there we are. I did cure that top coat for a full 60 seconds. See how shiny and pretty this is? I just love it. After this, I went with my glass cuticle pusher and my glass file and I just cleaned up around the cuticle and the edges of any areas that kind of flooded and leaked out and added some cuticle oil and this was the finished product. I want to thank y'all for being here watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate all you. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already, and I will see you in the next video. Try this method. If you want to refresh your mani, I'm telling you, you will love it.